So we've introduced ourselves to the parallelogram. We've also seen that a parallelogram is a four-sided shape that has two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel. We have, in previous videos, we have discovered that the opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. And in the previous video, we also noticed that the opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. In this video, we are going to show that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect. Now the word bisect might not make sense to some of you right now, but once we go through this video you'll see what we mean by that. And so for this kind of proof we are going to put both diagonals on the parallelogram and then you can choose which triangles you are going to prove congruent, but the triangles must be opposite to each other. So you could either choose the following two or the following two. And so let's take these two that we've got highlighted over here, and I'm just going to add another little letter in the middle over here, so we'll just call that E, and we can call that E1 and E2, for example. So let's pretend that that was already there, so that was given to us. So we are going to try to prove that these two triangles are congruent. So remember, with congruency, we need to find three things that are equal in those two triangles. Well, we know from previous knowledge that the opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal, which means that those two sides that we've just highlighted in green are equal. And so what we can do is we can say that AB is going to be equal to CD. And the reason for that is because those are the opposite sides. So we can say op sides of, and then to show a parallelogram, we say parallel, uh, we'll show parallel lines like that. And then we just say M like that. That stands for parallelogram. And your teacher might do it in a slightly different way when giving the reason. That's absolutely fine. And so we, so we know that these two are going to be equal to each other. Next, we can say that E1, remember we're working in the two blue triangles, E1 is equal to E2. So that's, but because it's an angle, we will show an angle like that. And the reason for that is that those are vertically, so we'll say vert, up, angles, like that. And then lastly, we know that the, the two green lines are parallel. And so what that means is the following. We can use this Z over here, or you might use this Z over here. And so let's just stick with this one over here. Well, what that means is that these corner angles are equal. And so we need a name for those angles. So this one over here, well, we can't just say angle A, because A could be this part or this part. And so what we'll do is we'll say B, A, C, angle B, A, C, is equal to this red one over here. Well, that's going to be... A, C, D. You could say D, C, A if you want, or even you, you could even use E, C, D. It doesn't really matter. And the reason for that is alternating angles. So we can say alt angles, and then you have to say which sides are parallel. Well, that's going to be A, B is parallel to C, D. And so we found two things, but I've just realized that we forgot to specify which triangles we were working in. So we said in triangle A, B, E, and triangle CED, CED, which is those two triangles over there once again. And so we have found three things. The first thing we found was a side, and then we found two angles. So we can say, therefore, triangle, and the first triangle I'm going to call ABE, is going to be congruent. So I show three lines to triangle. And then, so this A over here, well, that A goes with, so this angle here, goes with this angle over here, and so that's going to be C. Angle B will go with angle D. And so this B will go with D, and then angle E1 will go with angle E2. And so this E will go with this E over here. And, so, and then the reason that these two triangles are congruent is going to be side, angle, angle. And so what we can say from this is that side BE will be the same as DE. And so I'll show that those are equal by using these three lines over here and those three lines over there. So those are equal in length. And then we can say that AE is the same as CE. And so we can show that by using four lines. And so what we have actually done is we have just shown that these diagonals bisect each other. What that means, when two lines bisect, it means they cut each other in half. So this green line cuts the purple line in half. Can you see that the purple line is cut into two equal halves? And line BD cuts line AC 
into its own two equal halves. And that's what we mean when we say that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect. They cut each other into two equal halves.